If you want to quickly build a chat app with UI that has conversation, chat, search, relationship chain, group, and video call functions and supports both mobile, desktop, and tablet platforms, this Flutter tutorial may be useful to you. First, go to Tencent RTC official website, trtc.io, click on Developer and Chat, select Flutter in UI Kit here. This is the overview of Flutter Chat UI Kit. Click Getting Started to integrate. Before starting the tutorial, let's briefly introduce this Flutter Chat UI Kit. Let's look at this picture. It supports multiple platforms, including mobile phones, computers, and tablets. Mobile phones include Android and iOS, and computers include Windows and Mac OS. Tablets include iPads, as well as some Android tablets. We can look at the features which support dark mode and light mode, and theme customization. It supports mobile phones, dot tablets, dot web desktops, and supports six languages with Arabic support for RTL UI. Okay, now let's get started. First, the development environment is requirements. The current Flutter version requirement is 3.19, but it may increase later. Please refer to the specific official website for this. Now, we need to create an application on the console and record the SD cap ID. At the same time, create two users for testing and record their user SIG. Let's take a note on the right and record the information here. Step 1. Create an application. First, we need to visit the trtc.io console to create an account. Next, enter the console and click Create Application. Enter the application name. For example, we can call it Flutter UI Kit. Select Chat as the product type. We can deploy the data center in Singapore or customize other regions as needed. Click Create. At this time, our chat application is being created. OK, now the application has been created. Now go back to the document and the next step is to create two testing users. Click Account Management. Now create two users on the console. Click Create Account. We can create two users named User1 and User2. Let's create User1 first. Click Confirm. Let's record User1. User1's user ID is User1. Now let's start creating User2. User2's user ID is User2. Next, let's continue to create their user SIG for login. Go to User SIG Tools and select the application we just created, Flutter UI Kit. Fill in User 1 as User ID. Click Generate. Copy User SIG, which is Generate Result. Now let's record User 2. Click Generate. Copy User SIG and record it. The next step is to record our SDK app ID. Click Application. Select the application Flutter UI Kit we just created. Copy the SDK app ID. Record this SDK app ID in the memo. Step 2 Import the packages. First, we have to create a new Flutter project. Open Android Studio. Click New Flutter Project. Enter the project name. Now Android Studio is creating a Flutter project. This is our new demo project. Now let's go back to the document. To get started, we need to import the base package. Execute the command in the terminal. During the installation process, let's look at the subsequent commands. These packages can actually be imported as needed, but for the demonstration of this tutorial, we will import them all. Copy the first line of code and install the message component. Install the conversation component. Install the contact component. Install the user profile component. And the chat group component. So far, our UIKit's most basic function package has been installed. If you need other functions, such as search, read receipts, etc., you can refer to our complete tutorial. Step 3. Initial setup for UIKit. 
First, global configuration. Replace your project's material app by Tencent Cloud Chat Material App. This enables automatic management and configuration of language, theme mode, and other settings. Developers can also use this product better. Replace Material App with Tencent Cloud Chat Material App here and follow the IDE prompts to import the package. Next, Initialization and Login. We need to call UIKit to initialize and log in. Copy this part of the code. Paste the code and import the package according to the prompts. Next, pass in the SDCAP ID, user ID, and user SIG of application created in the previous step. Copy and paste these parameters from the memo. Now, UIKit has been initialized. Step 4. Integrating Modular UI Components Because all components of UIKit are modular, imported as needed, and support automatic navigation. So after we install all the component libraries, we only need to manually add the Conversation component and the Contact component. First, declare a current index variable and a list pages array to indicate the currently selected component and store the component instances. Store the instances in the pages array. Finally, modify the build method as follows. Now the code part is complete. Step 5. Experience the FlutterChat UI kit in action. Now, let's run the project and experience the FlutterChat UI kit. Let's start an Android emulator. Type Flutter Run in the terminal. Let the project run on the emulator. Now it is being installed. Now we enter the home page of the application. Because this is a new user ID, we can find that there is no conversation now. Switch to the contacts interface, and there are no contacts. But don't worry, we just created another test user, user2, in the console. Click the Add Contact button in the upper right corner and enter User2. Click Search, click User2, click Add Contact, click Send to send a friend request. User2 has become our friend. Click User 2's chat area to start chatting with him. Send a text. Return to the home page. Click the chat page again and we can see the historical conversations with User 2. OK, this is the basic function of chatting. Now let's experience the richer functions of UIKit. For example, long press this message to enter the message menu. It supports copy, reply, message functions. It also supports sending voice, as well as sending files, albums, etc. It also supports switching to dark mode. Let's switch to dark mode to see the effect. This is the interface in dark mode. For example, the list of contacts is like this, and the conversation interface also supports dark mode. This is the simplified integration process. If you need to know more advanced functions, such as recording calls, you can check the guide at the end of the document. Visit trtc.io now to start your real-time communication journey.